Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Summer here. Today's lesson is lesson 102, Atoms and the Periodic Table. By the end of this lesson, students will be able to define atomic number and atomic mass, identify the atomic symbol, atomic mass, and atomic number for a particular element based on the element box on the periodic table, and calculate the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in a neutral atom from the information in the element box on the periodic table. If you recall from lesson 101, an atom is made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. The protons and neutrons are in the nucleus of the atom. The electrons are in the electron cloud around the nucleus. The element box of a certain element on the periodic table can give us an enormous amount of information about the element. The atomic symbol is one of those pieces of information. The atomic symbol is a one or two letter abbreviation for an element. If it's a two letter symbol, the first letter is always capitalized and the second letter is always lowercase. In some elements, you'll notice that the symbol and the name don't match up. For example, in sodium, its symbol is Na, which is Latin for nat natrium. I will also want to point out that the element chlorine, its element is, atomic symbol is Cl. This is an L, not an I. The atomic number on the element box on the periodic table is the number of protons in an element. The atomic number is the smaller number in the element box. It's also the number of electrons in a neutral atom. This is vitally important for a few lessons from now when we talk about a non-neutral element. It's always the smaller number. So remember, atomic number is the number of protons in an element. It's also the number of electrons in a neutral atom. Take the atomic mass. The atomic mass is the sum, so sum means adding, of the number of protons and the neutrons in the element. It's always the larger number in the element. So right there, fluorine's atomic mass is 18.998. In order to calculate the number of neutrons using the atomic mass, we take the atomic mass and round it to the closest whole number. So in fluorine's case, that would be 19. And then we subtract the atomic number. So the number of neutrons in fluorine is 10 neutrons. In this example, it says to label the atomic symbol, atomic number, and atomic... Oop, that's supposed to say atomic mass. So label the atomic symbol, atomic number, and atomic mass for beryllium. So I'm going to start. This is the atomic symbol. In beryllium's case, it's a two-letter symbol where the first letter is capitalized and the second letter is not. The atomic number... is always the smaller one, and the atomic mass is the larger number. In this question, it's asking how many protons does beryllium have? Remember, we can figure out the number of protons by looking at the atomic number. The atomic number is the number of protons. So beryllium has 
four protons in its nucleus. This question is asking how many electrons does a neutral beryllium atom have? Well, remember, the atomic number also tells us how many electrons the neutral atom has. So this is my atomic number. Oops. Atomic number. And in a neutral atom, beryllium has four electrons in a neutral atom. And the this question is, how many neutrons does beryllium have? Recall, we can get the number of neutrons by taking the atomic mass and subtracting from it the atomic number. So I'm going to round my atomic mass, so 9.01, rounding to the closest whole number is 9, and I'm going to subtract the number of protons, or my atomic number. 9 minus 4 is 5, so beryllium has four neutrons.